Hello and welcome back to the Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we are in a couple of wars which are just being concluded. The War of Northern Independence has just been won by our son Tommen, who has also joined our war against, uh, well, our uncle's claim for the Westlands, which I don't think our uncle is in in any way, shape, or form. No. Uh, so, in fact, he is a commander of the Iron Throne, so he'll be fighting against his own war on the Westlands, which is a little bit weird anyway we're over here sieging on a mountain hoping that we won't get attacked but being fairly certain that we'll win if we want if we are and we're just gonna unpause oh yeah we're also joining a cult that that too rupert escorts me to my bedchamber i hesitate upon entering finding it flooded with light as candles form a circle around my bed several hooded figures surround the room chanting in unison fear not sister power and pleasure these are the gifts of the stranger well i like the sound of that Okay. When I wake up, the cloaked figures are gone, and Rupert is lying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of his mouth. Welcome to the cult of the stranger, Lady Paramount Cersei, he says. I hold him close, wondering how I'll look back at this moment. Um, so I could say, I wish I found you sooner, or this was a necessary evil. Um, now, we did break, I think we broke up, or Jamie broke up with us um, a couple of episodes ago. Was it last episode? It doesn't matter. So maybe we'll say, I wish I found you sooner. sooner. Uh, a budding romance, a budding friendship. We'll see how that goes. My lady, I'm pleased to report I've captured some high-value prisoners after a successful siege of Lucky Town. We got Master Dale of Lucky Town. Well, of course he'll go to my dungeon. Oh, I love the attrition. 15% attrition there. We're going to continue sieging. Um... Oh, the uh, Haunted Forest has asked for our help again, but we are not going to go up and help them. Uh, my prisoner is complaining about his dark cell in the uh, dungeons. We could release him for a favor if we wanted to. We could let him rot. Um, or, yeah, we'll just let him rot. I think that's probably the best answer here. Oh, we captured some more highly valued prisoners. We captured uh, Septum Addison. Okay, cool. That's another one caught. Oh, and we have gained cramps. Oh, that's not good. Um, okay. Well, let's head over here. Hope that we survive, otherwise this is going to be a very short series. Quentin states that his expense is extensive military... Not military. Medical experience leads him to uh, the certain conclusion you have food poisoning. Okay. Uh, he made us drink salty water to induce a vomiting. It worked quite well. And then we gained the trait vomiting. Well, that makes sense. We gave us salt water to induce that. Okay. Well, we'll move to the next place and start uh, sieging. The prayers of Septon Addison have not gone unnoticed. Is there such a thing as a limit to my power? He's still a traitor. Hmm. Oh, we don't want to be here. These are only hills. We want to go to Nun's Deep, I think. Oh, we have diarrhea. Well, that's not good. Right, up here into the mountains. One cynical comment after another. I could not take it anymore. I even tried to bribe Maester Quentin so he would shut up and stop firing cynical remarks at me. Okay. Back up here we go. Uh, so it's siege versus siege, but we should be alright. Don't know why our son hasn't ended his war. Oh, we could also go and ransom our prisoners if we wanted to. Oh, we have a backer for our plot to kill uh, Marjorie. A single backer. Okay. I uh, haven't really been working on that very hard. Yeah, why hasn't our son ended his war? Uh, High Chief Tormund Giant Spain has taken the Chief of, Anter of uh, Antler Vale from Garrick Redbeard. Okay. Was that Redbeard? Yeah, I think that was Redbeard, anyway. Uh, during the last few days, my brother, Lord Jamie, has not been able to keep any food or drink down. It seems he is suffering from food poisoning as well. Oh, we'll call for a physician. Uh, and we should seek a treatment for our illness, I guess. Uh, Quint oh, we're being attacked. Quentin thinks that we have food poisoning. Uh, we are being attacked, but we do have the Tyrells heading up to help us. So we're going to just stay and fight. That's fine. Um, he ordered us to rub our limbs with vinegar eat uh, every morning and evening. And that seemed to do some amount of work, but not amazing amounts. So we are going to lose this fight. Unless these guys turn around and help us. Yeah, we're going to lose pretty heavily. And we do have food poisoning. Oh, 
Okay. Well, there goes our health. Um, faceless man, probably not the right time. Um, Maester Quentin has come to see us and has offered us some more treatments. Um, well, if you know what you're doing, heal us. He presented us with the charred carcass of a cat and prompted us to dig in. As you ate, as you ate, he told you uh, that he had chased the plump feline around your holdings for hours. You felt as though uh, you felt as if he wanted praise for his hard work, but the vile taste of the meal kept you silent. But it seemed to work. Okay. Um. Honored Lady Paramount, do not speak to me of obligations and duty. I may be your vassal, does not make your uh, not make me your slave. I'm within my rights to associate with whichever faction I wish. Oh, did I try and stop him being in the faction? Oh, okay. I didn't realize I did that last time. Okay. Uh, Willem is acting very selfish when playing with other children. Willem free. Well, yeah, who cares? I do have better things to do, and he is the bloody flux. He's going to die any second there anyway. Right. Um, why are they all still heading north? We already won the war... Like, the war in the north is won. Um, well, I guess we'll wait here and see who joins our army. Uh, can we ask? We could say, I'd like you to attach your men to my thing. We'll see how that goes. Oh, of course, they maybe they're not in my... I just realized the Tyrells aren't in this war. They're in the other war. Okay. Well, we might lose the Westlands. Um, I'm trying to figure out somewhere where we can stand where we'd actually have any success of doing anything here. Probably is Pink Maiden against us? No. Okay. Who is actually against us? Hornvale's against us. So if we go down to Deep Run, there's a chance that we could uh, do something there. Riding through the countryside, together with my escort, I came upon a lovely inn. It's empty as far as for, aside from the nervous looking innkeeper who nevertheless promises food and wine ev at a very reasonable price. My party and I sit down at the table. Oh dear. Now, if you don't know what this event is, you're going to very soon know what this event is. Innkeeper, bring us the best that you have to offer. Soon after the innkeeper disappears into the kitchen, we notice a foul odour emanating from somewhere below the floorboards. One of my escorts pulls open a loose board to reveal a massive manure pit. Before we can react further to this bizarre find, the floor explodes beneath my feet. Very clever, Tywin. Very clever, Tywin Free. And that is the end of Cersei. We, we lost all of this. None of that. So, Lady Paramount Cersei has taken her last breath at age 38. She was murdered on the orders of Tyenne Martell, a wrath woman people fear to cross her or even bring bad news. Now Cersei has passed to forever be with the gods in the afterlife. King Tommen is 13 years old. The realm is left in the capable hands of the region and council. Long live Tommen. Um, and we would give our mother a funeral with probably all lords and ladies of the realm. Anyway, I think that it's probably time to end the series. Because we I set out the series with a very specific plan. We would play as Cersei until the moment she died. I didn't expect that we would be blown up by manure as we were uh, riding at an inn. But whatever. So, thank you for watching, and I guess we're going to have a new series next week. See you then. Goodbye.